Additive synthesis is pretty simple. Basically, any, anything that you add to a sine wave is going to make a more complex wave. And that is a form of additive synthesis. So, for example, we've got our sine wave here. Let me turn off the filter. Okay, so that's the basic sine wave. Now, as we add different frequencies, you'll notice down here that the, the wave will actually change form. So as you notice, even though you're adding these different note harmonics, the fundamental note stays the same. You can actually tell what the, the fundamental pitch of the sound is. And if you want to take a look here, you can actually see exactly how certain tones are made. So if you take a look at the SAW32 wave, for example, you can see that this is how it's drawn out. If you go to a square wave, you'll see that it's drawn out this way with where it's using every other harmonic frequency to create that wave form or the wave shape. So that's essentially what additive synthesis is, is any time that you're adding anything to the sine wave as far as harmonic frequencies to change the waveform, you're using additive synthesis. I suppose you could say another form of additive, additive synthesis would be adding se several sounds together, for example, uh, a sine wave and a saw wave and a square wave all to make one sound. I suppose that that could be considered a form of additive synthesis as well. As long as it's not one sound modulating the other because that gets into FM synthesis, which we'll get into later.